Hi guys, and welcome to another technical tutorial on the IBM a BPM product. In a previous video, we looked at what it uh, took to build a modal dialog so that we could display uh, some pop-up text and uh, be able to enter some data and uh, dispose of that dialog. All very well and good. Now, after thinking about that, it's not uncommon to bring up a dialog that has a cancel button in it. And the cancel button would normally appear here. And if you hit the cancel button, then any changes you'd made in the dialogue would be discarded and uh, not affect your backend data. So let's look at how we can go about achieving that in our BPM environment using this dialogue technology. So we'll start here. Whoop, I got logged out, timed out. Let me log back in again. One second. Log in, log in, log in, log in, log in. There we go. So in our story here, we have our coach, we have our dialogue, etc., etc. So let's go and add another button. We'll come over here. We'll add a button. We'll drag and drop that button to the left of this one, and we will call it cancel. Very good. Now, when the cancel button is pressed, very much like OK button that we talked about last time, we want that to dispose of the dialog. So I'll copy the event handler, which hides our dialog, and I'll copy that into the event handler for our cancel button. And there we go. So now when I run this coach, we now should have two buttons, OK and cancel. And if I hit cancel, we go away. However, we haven't actually done any of the work yet. Let's create ourselves a variable. Let's create the variable and let's call it my name. And let's make it a string. Now, so we can see the current value of my name, let's add an output text onto our coach here. And let's bind that output text to my variable name. And we'll give the name an initial value. And we'll say the initial value is John Smith. There we go. So if I run my coach, look at it here, we see John Smith. I enter some data and hit the OK button. Oh, well, it hasn't updated it. And the reason for that is we haven't bound our text field to the data. So let's try to do that. Let's go and bind our text field to our name data. Good. And run it again. And uh, look at the field, show the dialog, and say it's Neil. Hit the OK button. Great. That looks wonderful. So now let's go and take it back to John Smith and hit the cancel button. And we shouldn't see this update. And we do. Uh-oh, something's not right here. And the reason for that is that since we bound this text field straight to the data in the coach, any time this text field updates, updates that data, it's going to be immediately committed. So that's not going to work. Let's undo that. We can't bind this to our data there. So what we can do, though, is we can inject a data coach view into our uh, environment. Now, the data coach view, we can put it anywhere we like. We bind that to our name variable. So data here is an invisible coach view. When you show it on your screen, it doesn't show up, but it's bound to our variable. Now, the the value of this data, uh, the, I'm sorry, the control ID of this data coach view is data one. Let's go to our OK button. Let's go to its configuration, and this is where the magic happens, and let's go look at the events. So before we hide the dialog, let's say dollar data waiter one dot set data dollar text one dot get data. Uh, oh, get text rather, get text. And We'll pause there and we'll have a look at this. Now, if I've coded this right, this says that when the OK button is clicked, find the data one coach view, call the set data method on that coach view, you're passing in the value of the text field that we've entered here. 
And so what we're doing here is we are explicitly updating the variable called name because that's what's bound to our data coach view here. And we explicitly update that only when the OK button is pressed. If the cancel button is clicked, the dialog goes away, the data is not updated. If the close button on the panel is clicked, the dialog goes away, the data is not updated. So only if we hit OK is the data going to be updated. So let's try this. Here's our the default of John Smith. Show the dialog. Enter Neil Colban. Hit the OK button and the data was changed. Now let's go back, change this to John Smith. Tab out of it. We haven't updated it. Hit the cancel button. And it didn't change exactly what we wanted. So let's try John Smith again. Hit the OK button. It changes. Change it back to Neil Colban. Close the dialog. Nothing. Cancel the dialog. Nothing. OK the dialog. And it changed. And that's it, my friends. We've spent a little bit of time here looking at how we can create a dialogue. But this time, it's got the ability to cancel the update. And the way we do that is by simply not binding the data fields in the, uh, in the, uh, 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 in the input to any particular variables. And on the OK click, have that cause the update of the coach variables. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to making more of these videos in the future. Bye for now guys.